There's always a new face trying to make their way into the crime world, and it takes a lot of courage to put your cards on this hostile table. Enter Slero Barsha, the antagonist of the Star Wars Outlaws game. And Slero doesn't play a subtle game like Crimson Dawn. Instead, he's bold and oftentimes brash. That's why it's so appropriate that his theme would start with a massive octave leap. The descending motion immediately fills us with the darkness of his character as it drops with dread instead of rising with hope. The fact that Slero's theme moves by an octave right away suggests that it truly wants our attention. It moves immediately to an entirely different register and grips us the same way Slero does at the beginning of the game, immediately waging war on all of the other syndicates. Aren't you listening? I'm starving. It's time to eat. And even the way Slero dresses and presents himself is of someone who is grand and massive and expects to be noticed. But the rhythm is also not trying to be flashy at all, as it's simply two half notes that begin on the downbeat. The downbeat entrance suggests that Slero is someone who takes charge and doesn't wait for others to enact his plans. But the half notes suggest that he isn't the one to actually do this. Others pull the trigger for him while he sits on his throne and watches. It's time to eat. And if we remove the duplicate pitch of the octave, Slero's theme is really only three notes, and two of them spells a descending tritone interval. The tritone is an interval comprised of six half steps in distance on the keyboard, perfectly splitting the octave in half. Here, it's spelled as a diminished fifth, descending from B flat to E natural. The tritone is an always unstable interval full of dissonance and requiring a resolution, but Rajat sets it in a way where it is its own resolution of sorts, returning to the tonal center. And that defines Slero. He's a little unbalanced or unstable himself, and he definitely is someone that we wouldn't want to cross. And so, like his counterpart in KVS, Slero is a little unpredictable and hard to know how to deal with. In truth, it's better to just avoid him, but because of the wide net that he attempts to cast, Slero Barsha, just like his massive theme, is hard to avoid, pulling everything into his dissonance and chaos. But I absolutely would love to know what all of you think. What do you think of Slero's theme overall, and what do you think of the music in Star Wars Outlaws as a whole? Tell me in the comments below what you think, and consider checking out my Patreon page using the link in the description, where you can help support this channel for as little as $1 a month, or download PDFs and MP3s of projects like Slero's theme as I complete them, along with other perks at higher tiers. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the music of a galaxy far, far away. And as always, may the be with you.